everyone and peace of Christ to all of you and please invite your friends especially Muslims actually honestly uh, I like when a Muslim he posts right away before even we start I saw a Muslim saying his name is a bad boy uh, he's like Muhammad he like to go after little girls he just said in this in the screen and let me show it to you so we can laugh together <coughs> uh, mr. bad boy uh, he said the following let us show you and please try to understand the situation of a Muslim he said 1.9 billion and is still counting remember I told you two weeks ago two weeks after they will say they are 2 billion <laughs> it did not even go two weeks <laughs> so uh, brother 1.9 billion I mean what happened just six months ago it was 1.6 a year before it was 1.5 what happened are you a rabbit or what Abdul I have a bad news for you by saying what you are saying you just approve to us again that Muhammad is a scam because your stupid prophet he said the following and this is not by the way this is not our topic but this is just for a snack as a start uh, you're a prophet he said that Islam is start as a strange religion and will end as a strange religion which means few only people will believe in it. So you need to prepare yourself for your prophet prophecy if he is a prophet. Islam is going to die. Your prophet say though. So if you don't believe your prophet, that's mean Islam is dead already. And let us show you the hadith. And this is, by the way, a great example of how the Muslims, they are Muslims by name and they do not know their religion. Very silly, very stupid. And they try to do like the bug thing, like we hold you from your pant and say, Islam is growing, Islam is growing. When Islam, according to their prophet, is dying. And by the way, who is a Muslim today? Nobody. Your prophet, he said, Islam began as a small religion and will return in the state which is began and this is Sahih uh, no no way Sahih and yes and even Alabani the guy who Sheikh Uthman we fried him yesterday with says Sahih <laughs> so don't get excited my friend you don't you are not a Muslim did you know did you hear the news that now they took off the signs from the roads in Mecca that Muslims only do you know what does that mean that's mean the Christians now they can go to Mecca when this is forbidden by your prophet do you know that did you see the guys in YouTube going to your Mecca and taking videos the reason for that because Islam cannot stay as it was before and one of the signs of weakness is compromising and this is what Islam is about since the beginning compromising you compromise when you are weak and you don't when you are strong right but since when you are strong never even in the time of your prophet he was not strong so now we go to our topic and forget about this little Abdul we gave him a spank and by the way uh, the video we made yesterday about uh, what his name this uh, dummy what man the sixth registry guy uh, I notice that only few people of you really supporting, uh, you know, Anthony Roger and David Wood. I mean, I don't know why Christians are very lazy. If see the amount of attack the Muslims they make upon those who fight Islam, you will not believe it. And if you look at the support the Christian they do. 
to those who fight this stupid cult, you will notice how short we are in support. So my question to you, where are you? You know, a million posts made by Muslims about three versus one. And, and there is a guy who was talking to him only, not a three. I mean, actually, uh, David Wood was disturbing uh, Anthony and he did not help at all. So three versus one, even Sam Shamoon wasn't standing there. The guy asked him, come, come, stand here. You know, so he put him in the camera. See how they are mockery people. And you, you Christians, you will never learn how this religion function. It work only by mockery. So when a Christian want to go and debate a Muslim, you are not going to debate a debater. You are going to get ready. There's a mockery there. So if you cannot make a mockery of the mockery guy, don't go there. This is why they don't dare to debate me. Being nice and kind and you know don't uh, there is no place for that you know either you either you humiliate the faith of Allah or you don't go there so we spend half hour talking about what the word kalam mean get him busted right away okay he said this is this hadith is daif right you showed him it says good so who is the liar Muslims are liars because both the one who say good and the one who say weak both are Muslims. So why you don't take advantage of that? So don't waste your time with philosophy stuff. You know, like they, they like to talk about philosophy and you know, things have nothing to do even with the topic. You know, it's just to make it spoil. Like, uh, do you think that there is a debate will be there and then they start talking about, do you know what Al-Kalam mean, Ilmul Kalam? And, the, and Anthony George, he said to him, mean philosophy, the stupid Abdul, he said to him, no, <laughs> he doesn't know when the fact this is true. It is philosophy. He is a stupid idiot. You know, you know, if, if I am there, Anthony Roger, okay, open your phone, search it. And the guy, he says, they are searching Google. So what do you want them to do? They are bringing a library with them. And isn't you who search Google and show us the picture too? You did not show us a book. So, he said to you, this is what it means, search it immediately in their Islamic website and show him the meaning. And then everybody will laugh at him. So my advice for Christians, when you go not to debate a Muslim, you have to confront, you have to corner. Those are liars. They have no dignity. And they are there to play games. And the game is how we can make a mockery of you so we can put pressure on you. At the same time, uh, Christian people don't support really those people. They don't. If you go now, if we search now for the for the video I download, I made yesterday, how many of you download it? What, 20, 30? Go and see how many Muslim download the Muslim videos. A thousand, two thousand? And here you need to ask yourself, why you people are, like, you would like to enjoy watching, you are not part of this fight, you are just a... Uh, uh, a silly person, a kid, you know, you have no responsibility, you don't care. Uh, why they download their videos, you don't. Even their videos. I, me, myself, I download the Muslim videos so we can laugh at it. And actually, this is what I do. I show you the Muslim videos. The Muslim videos are for us is a priceless. Is the best way to show how Islam is stupid. And this is what we will do today. So the topic is, no, don't tell me very sad and very etc. Do something. Yeah, very sad, very sad. You know, do something. The one who's saying very sad, do you download videos yourself? Very sad. No, but not very sad. We are victorious. I'm not I'm not sad. I am I'm asking you, you, not me. I'm very happy. I'm victorious and the Lord is my victory. We demolish this cult every day. But I'm asking you, why you don't support them? What is missing? Are you fake? Are you a Christian by name? Maybe. Because there must be a reason. Oh, it's a, it's a, for you, it's a show you like to watch it. Uh, you know? So, the Lord, the Lord will question every one of us in the day of judgment. And the question will be very simple. From their fruits, you shall know them. Where is your fruit as a Christian? 
You will tell him I was watching Anthony Roger. How come you are not Anthony Roger? That is a good question. I mean, this guy, if you see this story, the story is they went through a hell of time. They went to jail, etc. And look how they changed. The Lord, he changed them. So if a person, he go through a very hard time in his life, he is what he is today. What's wrong with you? Why you are not? Why there is only a few people doing what they are doing? Where is the rest of the Christians? Uh, I cannot say the same to the Muslims, because Muslims, even those who defend Islam, they are dummy. Actually, one of the proofs that Islam is stupid, that Allah cannot find one intelligent person to defend him and to be his lawyer. You know, when you have a, a problem, you go and find a smart lawyer, right? So if Allah is the one who make Muslims speak for him, defend him, how come he could not find one intelligent person? And today we will show you the example. Your book will be in Danish. We have it in Danish already. Danish with Danish. Uh, hold on. Uh, we have one in Swedish and one in Dutch. Yeah. Um, so why Allah? Is Allah is a male or a female? All right. Is Allah is a male or a female? Let us see if this is what is the scenario. And right away you will notice that the Muslims they have no answer. They don't know what they are talking about. And everybody is giving his own guess, but nobody is telling you Islam. It's just a stories, you know, they fabricate and they make their own. And they claim those are answers. So if we go and check, let us see the first video. This is why I said to you, Islamic videos for us are, they are priceless. So they are Zakir Naik. Is Allah male or a female? Where is the video I can make? Allah is male or female? Hold on. Huh. Here we go. Allah has no gender. Neither male nor female. Allah is the ultimate power. Almighty. Then why do we call Allah he? That's a very important question. And this question... Do I call Allah? I mean, you see, here you see the stupidity of the one who's asking the question and the one is answering the question. So if we say Allah, that make him a male on gender, I mean, how stupid is that? What Allah have to do with the gender here? This is because Zakir Naik himself is a donkey. He do not know Arabic. He's acting as a scholar, but he do not know what... I mean, the guy he said to you because he said Allah, that make him a male gender? What Allah have to do with this? stupid I mean this is dummy but anyway because nobody speaks Arabic so nobody will notice how stupid this, the question is disturbed me a lot for the first few years of my life as a guy this is a question disturbed me a lot take a note Zakir Naik was disturbed a lot in the beginning of his life for this question is Allah male or female and if Allah is a male why we call him Allahi what 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 that's a very important question. And this question disturbed me a lot for the first few years of my life as a guy. Hmm. When I started Dawa after meeting Sheikh Ahmad Didad in 1988, I met Ahmad Didad in 1987 and started Dawa from 1988. <coughs> and this question did trouble me also. And I asked many people and no one gave me this answer. Look how this is stupid religion. He is now, his profession is to teach Islam. He is a student of the stupid Didat who don't speak Arabic like him too, which make them more too stupid. I mean, uh, this is how this religion function. A religion based on Arabic, and yet they want to explain a book to you, and they themselves cannot read it. Can you believe it? When they take Zakir Naik or they take the that to an Arab country, they have a translator. Or you have to speak to them in English. They don't know Arabic. So now this idiot, 
he said to you, I've been very much disturbed by this question. What is the gender of Allah and why we call him he? Tell us more. When I went to Medina in 1997 to learn the Quranic Arabic with Dr. Fab Rahim. So did he, did, he, did he hear him saying to learn the Quranic Arabic? But this guy until now he don't speak Arabic. So what do you mean did he learn the Quranic Arabic? Do you see the stupidity? I went to Medina to learn the Quranic Arabic, but this guy, he did not know Arabic. So what you did you learn exactly? Brother, I learned how to say the Fadah letter. Bismillah al-Lahman al-Lahim. A'udhu billahi min al-Jalim. So you went to Medina to learn Quranic Arabic, but you did not learn Arabic? It's a good education there then. As I mentioned in my earlier answer, who was a tenant of and a close friend of Dr. Zaira Man Azmi, Malla Grandam Jannah. Dr. Zaira Man Azmi is also originally an Indian, mm -hmm. coming from Tamil Nadu. Mm -hmm. And mashallah, he is one of the best in teaching Arabic to the non-Arabs. So now, spend his life and he now he live in Saudi Arabia and nobody can give him the answer. All the Saudi or the Arab, they can't give him the answer. Why we say Allah is he? But now he met in Saudi Arabia, someone who teach Islam to non-Arab. And this is the Indian guy who have the answer. So all the Arab, they have no answer. The Indian guy who came from India, he stood there, you know. Okay, tell us what the Indian guy said to you. And he knows about 17 to 20 languages. <laughs> 20 languages. 17 to 20, look how they jump. He's like Muhammad, you know, he's not sure, like 72, 73 versions. My, my, my people will be like the Christian, they will be 71, 72 sect. The Jews will be maybe 71, 72 sect. My people will be 73, 74, 17. Like, like the Quran, when the Quran says, they say to you, they are three and their dog is number four. Some they say that they are four and their dog is number five. And some they say there are five and their dog is number six. And some they say they are six and their dog is number seven. Say only Allah knows the answer. <laughs> Oh boy. Continue. So now what the Indian guy he told you? And he is phenomenal, mashallah. Mashallah. I learned a great deal. No wonder you are a donkey. If you learn a great deal, if this is what you learn, that explained to me who is your teacher before you talk about him. When I was learning Arabic and when initially when I met him, I asked him the question, even he didn't have a satisfactory reply. But after I finished about two or three weeks of my studying with him, when he was teaching me Arabic, and in the Arabic, while learning Arabic, I learned from him that there are certain rules and regulation when you say that one, this particular object is feminine. In Arabic language, you have masculine and feminine. You don't have a neuter gender. In more no, that's a bit, this, this is another stupid, this is telling me that this guy is a stupid donkey. He does not know what he's talking about. No, in Arabic, we have words which is neither male or female. As an example, sabah. You will find that the word sabah is a name used for female. In the same time, the word sabah used for male. Sabah means morning. So it's not male, not female. So this is, I mean, this, this is what he told you. Continue, Abdul. Most of the languages, we have three genders. Feminine, masculine, and neuter. But in mm. Arabic, we have only two genders. Go right now, search in Prophet Google and see how stupid he is. Masculine and feminine. Mm. And there are some rules and regulations for any object to be feminine. One of the rules is that if it's in pair, pairs of body, like hands, in Arabic, it is yadun. It is feminine. I know. 
two eyes. It is feminine. Guys, supposedly this is Arabic. And, and no Muslim make fun of his Arabic, by the way. But they will say to you, Christian Prince don't speak with Arabic. How do you know Arabic, actually? This is Arabic. What, what he said? So anything which is in pair on a body, it becomes feminine by default. One of the rules. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one. Qul hu Allah ahad. So but naturally cannot be feminine. The second rule. That if it ends in ta marbuta, if the word ends in ta, like mirwahatun, fan, it becomes feminine. Sa'atun. Stop. I mean, when I say somebody is a stupid and he helped me in his with his stupidity, he just said, if it's end with the ta close t, that will make it female. But you stupid either, don't you know that your God, his name is end with close t? I mean, who is the who is the donkey here? Here we go. You see, they will say to you, oh, this is this is uh, ha, this is not uh, t, right? Uh, it says here, Bismillahi, right? Bismillahi, Rahmani. Okay, there is no T here. But if you check out, you will see that this is a change of the language, as an example. If you read with me here, you will see manat and you will see a lat. This is the same as h, but there is a ch change of a pronunciation. Even the Muslim, they say to you, like when the Quran, there's different reading because there is different tribes and they have different dialect. So in some places, the letter Qa is Ka. As an example, Makkah is Makkah. The same name, the same word, but it have different pronunciation. So now he is trying to make it a language thing. If there is an NT, if there is no NT, that is a stupid thing. Uh, but we will listen to the end. The watch ending in tamarbuta it becomes feminine allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't end in tamarbuta uh -huh. so by default it is not feminine mm -hmm. if it he don't end with tamarbuta brother so i see the problem ah, okay but the question is is that a grammar thing or allah he chose his name because if it's a language thing then it's not allah who decide what is his gender is the one who made the language and the one who made the world but if allah he change sorry he he choose his the, the name then the name have to be explained why it's coming in a certain way so this is the first one he failed he tried to say to you there's end of the t there is no gender there's no so why you say he if it ends in alif akhla alif it becomes feminine Allah doesn't end in Alif. If it is feminine by nature, like Ummun, <laughs> Ukhtun, feminine by nature, mother, sister, it becomes feminine. So the Quran is a feminine because it says Ummul Kitab. You see how, how stupid he is? It is feminine by nature. So the Quran is a female and Allah is a male. This is why we say that the videos of the Muhammadan are prized as for us. Remember, he is the one who said, <coughs> uh, that the word um, um mean mother, right? Okay. But when you say uh, 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 the word um, you just said 
a female thing. We heard it, no Muslim can deny it. But this is mean. The Quran is a female. Do you see it? Is that a language thing? He will say now, what he will say, he just said, if it is by nature, we use such a word. Did he say that or I'm making things up? If it's by nature, then it's a female. Okay. So the word um, and the funny, he just said there's an Arabic, there's no, there's either male or female. And now he's saying this is not male nor female. It's just by nature. You see the stupidity? So how are you saying in the beginning there's no there's only two gender and now you are saying this one is not male nor female except by nature here. So when he said this, oh, this is a different video, hold on. Oh, this is a different idiot. Let's go back. If it is feminine by nature, like Ummun, Ukhtun, feminine by nature, mother, sister, it becomes feminine. Allah See? is not feminine by nature. So he is trying to explain to you now why Allah is not a female by nature, but the Quran is female by nature. Take a note. Do you see why they are prices for us? So, until now, what is the answer? Is Allah male or female? What is Allah? So according to me, since it is not falling in any of the rules of feminine, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as you rightly said, is neither male, neither female. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unique. He has got nine. He has got no gender. But because Arabic language has got two gender, masculine and feminine, and by default, Allah doesn't come into any of the rules of... Okay, let us see if this is true or not. If by default, Allah doesn't come as male or female, so why still, why you call him he? What about you call him once he, once you call him she? Why it have to be he? What about you call him without saying he? You know, if Allah is unique and there's no one to be confused with, which means when I say Allah, I do not need to say he, Allah, right? Because there's only one person. Supposedly in the whole universe, there's only one Allah. So I do not need to say he, and I'm speaking about the Arabic language. Let us take another Abdul. This is the first Abdul. Look at the second one. During a lecture and somebody asked a really cool question and I thought I should share the answer with everyone. The question was that in uh, reading the Quran, uh, you find that God uses the word he for himself. Like he is the creator of the skies and the earth or he is one. And the word he is obviously male. So how can we use a male word for God even though Allah is beyond gender? Um, and so that's, that was a pretty cool question I thought and very well thought out, so I decided to make this video and share with you some thoughts on how to address this problem. First and foremost, we have to understand that the Arabic language works differently than the English language. In the English language, you have three options. You can use he or you can use she and you can use it. He obviously has a male connotation, she is a female connotation. It is beyond gender, so you would have the choice of it, but the only problem is the word it is for inanimate objects. So it would be inappropriate for Allah because it necessitates the assumption that it's a non- so Allah is the slave of inappropriate language. So Allah, he chose the wrong language. I mean, this is even more stupid excuse from the accusation. Because if Allah, now because he have no choice and the language have only two gender, so he chose to have he? Do you see how stupid this argument? This language have only two gender. What we can do? What is uh, Allah the Almighty, the one is above physics, the one is above 
uh, and nature the one uh, a language made him force him to say to be he when he is not he let us take this the third abdul skip this one the same garbage here, a question here why is allah referred to as he this is traditional. This is how the language of the Quran is. Um, Again. But, but of course, we should be clear that in Muslim conception, um, God is not gendered. It's not a he as opposed to a she. But in, in, in the Arabic language, it still survives that uh, some things are referred to as a bit the male gender, some things are referred to as a female gender. To a certain extent, this happens in English as well, but to a lesser uh, extent. For example, a country might be referred to as she. A ship might be referred to as she. It doesn't reflect the gender of the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, so the traditional language is that God is referred to as he. And things of power generally are... are thought of as masculine, uh, and it would have been odd in that society to refer to God as, as she. Um, should we change the language now? This uh, is a discussion that Muslim scholars... Notice with me that none of those three Abdul gave us any reference that their prophet said, or Allah, he said, I have no gender. Did you notice that? Which means this is all is just a fabrication of answers, because any religious answer should come from the religion itself. Do we agree? What is the answer? I mean, did you say to us, Allah, he says, I have no gender? He did not say that. Did Muhammad say Allah has no gender? I never heard of such a thing. But let us get them busted from the Quran, shall we? First of all, Allah he consider worshipping female gods is an insult. Chapter 4, verse number 117, as an example. They all, this is between two brackets. When you see between two brackets, it means it's a bunch of rubbish, it's not there really, you know. Uh, and actually, it's good at least they are being a little bit honest and put in two bracket. And the, the Muslim, they said to you, the Quran is so clear. And then we put like long bracket like a train to explain they. Are you saying to us that Allah strip it? He didn't he say they, but he did not mention who? Hmm. Okay. They invoke nothing but a female deity. Do you see it? And then he says, him, instead of him. Okay, hold on. I thought this is just a language thing. I thought if we add the letter T at the end, that will make it a female. And Allah don't have T as they say, right? But now Allah saying, they are worshipping female. He is making it clear that God cannot be a female. You see, he did not say those gods are false. He said female deity. He mentioned the word female to explain to you the reasoning of not to worship them. Okay, so if we cannot worship a female deity, goddess, what is the solution? The solution in front of you, him. Allah, Mr. Him, Kim, Sing Jong, North Korea president. They look the same, actually. According to the Tafsir, both of them, they are choppy. So, him, and the funny, it says here, but shaitan, shaitan, he wants you to worship them. Okay, so worshiping a female deity is from shaitan, but worshiping the male deity is from the true God. Why Allah did not call himself, but Allah without saying him? Okay, why instead of saying beside him why he don't say beside me I mean there's many solution to avoid the gender thing
And you know, I'm not against the language to be like, I mean, okay, the language have he and she, but sometimes not everything you say he, it's mean it's he as a, as a male, it's a word in the language. But let us make it more clear. Here, Allah is against worshiping female deity. So God cannot be a female. So we confirm that. So what is the other option? Maybe still Allah is not a male or female. Let us find out. Then we go to the Quran and we do a little more search. When Allah, he wanted to answer the Christians and the Jews that he don't have a son. Did he say, I don't have a son? Or he said, how I can have a son when I don't have a girlfriend? Read with me carefully. Again, the translator here says, he is the originator of the heaven and the earth. Can, how can he have a children when he have no wife? Did you notice? And do you see how easy to get them busted with their lies or the excuse of the language? So now Allah is answering about why he don't have a wife. Oh, sorry, why he don't have a son. The reason he don't have a wife. So if Allah is not the gender of a male, why he did not why he is saying wife i mean what about okay if allah is a female he would say how i can have a son i don't have a husband correct if it's a female he would say how i can have a son or she would say how i can have a son and i don't have a husband but what is the answer of allah how i can have a son and i don't have a wife so do you see how easy to get them busted with their lies? So they go around the question. They start speaking about Arabic, Arabic grammar. If you add T at the end, if you add uh, N in the end, you strip it. You, it, it I am not sure what I will add at the end of your name. If Allah is not a male, he will not say, how can I have a son if I don't have a wife? He did not say a spouse. He did not say I'm not married. You know, guys, you see the Muslim, they say to you, the Arabic of the Quran is amazing. So are you saying to me that your God is stupid God? He chose the wrong word in Arabic and he don't speak good Arabic. In fact, the Quran is full of stupid mistakes and none, unbelievable. So if you are saying to me that the language is forcing him, who is forcing him here to say how I can have a son yet I don't have a son? One more, we are not done. We go again to the Abdul Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad. We have even way more horrible verses, which is making it so clear that the God of Islam is the penis God. Chapter 21, verse number 17. Read carefully. Those are three scammers who don't dare to say hello to me. Shabir Ali, they ask him, you know, I don't want to talk about it. This is a debate supposedly we should have, I think, 13 years ago. We scheduled it, we, you know, they told me, there's Shabir Ali, uh, we invite him to ABN TV, do you accept? I said, sure. He, you know, he himself, he accepted. I, I, I never contacted him. He said, I contacted him, this is a lie. Uh, and we agreed in the TV. The guy, he went to uh, Amazon, he made an order for my books. At that time, I was in charge of my books in Amazon. I saw his name. He purchased my book and he agreed. He cannot deny it. Uh, and right after, few days after, he called ABN TV 
And he told him, uh, I'm busy with my PhD, I cannot debate him. And since then, he is busy doing his PhD. Now he is already a doctor, you know, but still busy. And all of them, you know, I mean, the excuse today is uh, when I debate you face to face. If you see the comment in the previous video, by the way, you will see how many Abdul talking about, why you don't saw your face? I, they are so desperate, man. They are, they cannot refute me. Oh, why you are scared? Uh, Abdul, uh, uh, let me show you. I don't want to change the topic now, but uh, just for the sake of fun. Abdul, I want to tell you a secret, but please don't share it with anyone. I am Allah. And I don't speak unless I am behind a veil. Here you see the stupidity of this cult. Why you want to see my face? Somebody told you I'm superstar. It's a fashion show. Uh, like there's a beauty queen, a beauty queen, king. What is this? What? Why they are obsessed? Because they have nothing to say. They cannot answer me. You know, they can you know, show us your face. Your face. I challenge you to debate me face to face. But they don't ask Allah to show his face, not even his ass. It is not given to any human, being that Allah should speak to him unless by inspiration or from behind a veil. I mean, okay, speaking to you from behind a veil, why? Is he scared? Is he shy? So, you don't care about Allah. It's not for Allah. Why? Hmm. Now, here the word veil, by the way. Maybe I should make a topic about it, special topic. I will. When the Muslim, they say that Allah is almighty or powerful. And then they say that Allah is hiding behind the veil. So, who is more powerful, him or the veil? I'm not sure if you understand what I'm saying. Isn't it Allah is a light and his light is so powerful? Nothing can stop it. So how we can stop the light of Allah by a veil? Do you understand what I'm saying? Is Allah changing his nature? In order to be hidden by a, a veil? Is that like a curtain made from what? It's made from what? So, the statement here is another statement of stupidity. And remember, the, the, the God of Islam is not a spirit. So, a spirit is already invisible. I mean, spirit. You know what I mean? Like we as a Christians, we believe God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So, God can be, and He is, a person who is spirit. So, we don't see Him. God is spirit. But Allah is not a spirit, and he is a physical being. And the Muslim, they say his light, his light, brother, his light. And then his light, my friend, is so weak to the point I cannot close a curtain. Here we go. I closed it. And the light of Allah is gone. Bingo. Do you see it? So what kind of God I can cover his light by a veil and I can hide him? Are you getting my point? So here is not for their level as as intelligent. They, you know, most of them, those who speak about scholars, they claim to be scholars. They are low in the IQ. But you can demolish Islam very easy in every single word in the Quran. But most of people, they are shallow in their reading, their thinking. They are not deep in seeing the vision. And you see, like there's an ocean, and people they see that ocean, you know, nice water. But the ocean is full of beasts. Every fish you see in the ocean is a beast, actually. Everybody eating everybody. What you see as a beautiful outside is the jungle of beast. And that is Islam. Now, going back to our topic. So, we showed you first that Allah, he said, 
by the way somebody's saying uh, 50,000 my friend I have other account I have 80 say, and a thousand uh, I don't know how many uh, I'm not I'm using this small account this is a small account of mine this is uh, it's not really my big issue if it's 50 or not you know I can go right now to a way bigger account Arabian profit I did not use it for more than six months so it's not a big deal for me if you think this is my number you are mistaken people who subscribe they load my videos they have more subscriber than me because I have too many accounts anyway this is not important for me in chapter 21 verse number 17 it says had we intended and here you notice Allah became many and the Muslim they say to you well Allah he say we because it is uh, his majestic uh, that's very stupid by the way because uh, that's mean Allah he liked to be more than one that will make him majestic being one as a person he feel insulted he feel he is not really given his value you see how stupid this religion is they say to you it's a stupid to believe in a trinity and then they say to you Allah he called himself we and you ask them why who is a Muslim who tell me why Allah he says we uh, <clears throat> Uh, Croatian ask me the question please after we finish the topic you know we don't want to uh, guys try to focus with me when we have a topic because if I stop to answer you and your question have nothing to do with my topic then you know I mean that's not right Muslims who is here can tell us why we say we okay hold on you know what I'm not going to ask Muslims the question because as you know you know nothing they are followers not believers None of them believe in anything. Even those who claim to be uh, scholars, they don't know what they are talking about. Okay, let's go to YouTube, Prophet YouTube. Hmm. And now Zach and Nike have little, little, uh, uh, little duck. His son is trying to be supposedly like him. He's giving him the business. He want to inherit the business. All right. Let us see. Where is my headphone? I need to buy a new headphone. I need to buy a new phone. My headphone is coming pieces. You know, I have that little thing. And my phone is acting up. I think I have a genie in it. Okay, let's see this guy. This is Abdul. He will explain to you why we Muslim we say we. Brother Ibrahim from Th South Africa is hmm. asking about why Allah is referring to Himself as we in the Quran. Now, yeah, why? Allah Azza wa Jal, if you read the Quran, refers to Himself as I or refers to Himself with the pronoun we. Hmm. And this is a well known way in Arabic. All Arabs know this, hmm. that in order to glorify someone or when someone is in a prestigious place, he refers to himself that we. What? So the king or the queen Did you hear could it? say that we, the queen of England, have... This is why Allah he used the word we because the because the Queen of England say we because kings they say we so Allah he wanna glorify himself so he say we did you hear the answer I mean watching Islamic video this is why I say to you Islamic video is like watching a cartoon the problem is that you know, I don't want to put people down and say that not all people, they have the uh, same intelligence. But some of us, we are, we did not, let us say, uh, train our brain to go deep in details. You know what I mean? Like we go over the world, we don't really, you know, like think about them deeply. Look how this world make a problem for them. And look how stupid. This answer alone is enough to leave Islam. Because if Allah... He glorify himself by saying we, 
Well, it's more glorifying to be we, not to say we. Are you with me? People, are you listening? If Allah, he believe, because he's the one calling himself, it's not like somebody calling him. You know what I mean? So if Allah, he believe that calling himself we, that glorify him more, that's mean Allah, he considered the word we is the best way to go. It's not fit for him to be I. It's better to be we. It's more glorifying for him. It's more respect to him. It's more uh, uh, like bigger title for him. And that's telling us the whole story. Say again what you said, Abdul, please. Ibrahim from Th South Africa is asking about why Allah is referring to himself as we in the Quran. Allah Azza wa Jal, if you read the Quran, refers to himself as I or refers to himself with the pronoun we. And this is a well-known way in Arabic. All Arabs know this, that in order to glorify someone or when someone is in a prestigious place. The funny one he's saying, all Arab know this. Can you name for me the kings in Arabia who says we? <laughs> in fact, in fact, when you say I, you are more glorified because we, a king when he talk, he's speaking about him and those who support him. Which means he is saying that we the king, by the authority of the people, we are ruling you. We, the king and his general and his ministers and, you know. But when you say I, you made it very clear that I am the individual and there's no one beside me. So the answer, which is supposed to be an excuse, is more stupid than Allah saying we itself. Somebody saying Allah created everything in pairs. This is another stupid thing that Islam has. Like Allah created everything in pairs. Okay. Did Allah create a male mule and a female mule? Did Allah create a male corona and female corona? Did Allah create male angels and female angels? Islam, Islam, brother, Islam, don't ask, don't ask. Islam is good as long as you don't ask. The second you ask, Islam, start farting. So, uh, the reason, brother, I want to play it again. It's fun. It's like a song in my ears. Brother Ibrahim from Th South Africa is asking about... Ibrahim, Ibrahim from South Africa. I hope the answer, brother, will cool your heart. And now you stay as a Muslim. This is the genius. Actually, I believe that the word genius is made only for those who believe in Allah, which is coming from the word genius. Like, genius? I mean, where is this guy, Christian Prince, he learned his English from? Like, what? Why Allah is referring to himself as we in the Quran. Hmm. Allah Azza wa Jal, if you read the Quran, refers to himself as I, or refers to himself with the pronoun we. And this is a well-known way in Arabic. All Arabs know this. Very well known. That in order to glorify someone. Just to show you the stupidity of the answers. We just ask, we answer Yasmin. You say that Allah created everything in pairs, which mean male and female. So we said to her that Allah created bacteria as male and female. Did Allah created angels, male and female? Look what she said to us. Allah has sent Corona because of people acting. Look, you idiot, this is not the topic. The topic is Corona, male and female. Is it you who says Allah has sent everything male and female? He created everything female. I mean, look at them. They switch the topic in the speed of light. Yasmin, Yazo. You said, Allah, he said, he created everything male and female, everything in pairs. The answer was from me. 
Did Allah create male corona and female corona? Did Allah create male angel and female angel? What is your answer? Allah alone curse for from corona. <laughs> Don't get married. Just don't get married. Do I have to play this again? I don't know. I, I, I feel in love with this video. Like, hold on. I don't know. I feel like I feel like home. Honestly, I feel like home. Because if I go back home, there's nothing there but the stupid things. From South Africa is asking about why Allah is referring to himself as we in the Quran. Allah Azza wa Jal, if you read the Quran, refers to himself as I, or refers to himself with the pronoun we. And this is a well-known way in Arabic. All Arabs know this, that in order to glorify someone, mm. or when Hold someone on. is in a prestigious place, mm -hmm. he refers to himself that we. Uh -huh. So the king or the queen mm. could say that we, the queen of England, mm. have decided to do this and that. Uh -huh. We, mm. the king of so-and-so, want to establish this and that. Mm -hmm. So when he says we as a king, he's not referring to the government. He's not referring to his family. He is referring to himself as the king. And Allah Azza wa Jal is the only one worthy of being glorified and being praised, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when Allah talks about himself that we have revealed the dhikr and we are the protectors of it, this is referring to Allah as uh, uh, the only uh, uh, provider for humanity, Allah Azza wa Jal, the only creator of humanity, Allah Azza wa Jal, the only sustainer for all uh, uh, this universe. That's it. I mean, you got the answer. Allah, he liked to glorify himself by his saying we. I mean, he liked it. Allah, look at the Arabic language. Oh, look at this we. I'm going to start using it. I want to glorify myself. So Allah, go to the mirror. We Allah, we Allah, and Allah feels so good now. Like, I am we Allah? You know, you know makeup? Makeup, makeup. English is funny, by the way, makeup, I don't know. I mean, why not make down? Anyway, makeup. Some, they use makeup. Muhammad, he put makeup too. I mean, he put eyeliner. Makeup is meant in a way to glorify yourself in a form of a beauty. So you do some adjustment to your look so you can look better. Do we agree, people? Allah, he needs some makeup. So he got his lips stick, his eyeliner, his powder, foundation, and the brush, and all those things. And he said, those are we. So we need we to look better. This is what this guy is saying to us, be my witness. Allah is not satisfied with the way he is as he and thought we thought he is a problem now we have bigger pro problem Allah now he need a brush he need a lip stick by the way do I say the word lip stick right or wrong because people they say to me it's impressed I, I like the way you say lip stick what's wrong with you people Learn English, you know, we are the Arab who created the English. Shakespeare was my cousin. His real name is Sheikh, is Sheikh Isper. He's the cousin of Sheikh Uthman too. <laughs> so this is how silly, stupid this cult is. And look at the answers, man. 
Look at the fancy answers. They try to the fantasize. Like they have no answer. They don't know what to say. Brother, it's a lie. You know, kings they say that. Okay, so Allah is copying a filthy king, praising himself. Are you saying to me that if Allah He say I and He stay with I, He is not satisfied to be God? It is something higher than being God. So he need we to glorify he. How stupid is that? That's why I like the Chinese people when they say they lived as a donkey, never come back as a horse. Guys, I get an idea because I look so bad, scary. From now on, you know, I'm a man. I cannot use makeup. I, come on. No way. So from now on, I will say we. Okay? I hope you understand the situation. The situation is very difficult. So we Christian friends, we glorify ourselves, and because uh, <clears throat> we are talking to you, uh, <laughs> the God who need we to be better God, how silly, how stupid. But now we have bigger problem. Forget about the we now for, for a little bit. Look at this madness, man. Allah, he cannot have a son because he don't have a wife. Chapter 6, verse 110. Okay. Here, he said, had we intended, he said that the we is to glorify himself, right? But here it's about having sex with the women. So how that will glorify Allah by saying we intended to take a wife. And how you say to me that Allah has no gender. And then Allah, he says, if I want to have a son, I will have a wife from us. You see, again, he did not say, I will have a spouse. He did not say, uh, uh, you know, I do not even need a spouse. He said, had we intended to take a pastime, and the word pastime in translation for the word lehu, which is a word mean women. And you can go, if you are a Muslim, especially if you speak Arabic, you can go read the interpretation, you will see, it says that lehu is a word mean women. So, had we intended to take a woman not wife not pastime a woman is the word women we could surely take it from us did you see the muslim they said take it guys did you see the muslim translation saying the word it We just heard Zach and Nayak and etc. They are saying that the word it is for subject, right? Object or animals. So Allah will take a wife. She is it. And then Allah will take the wife from us. So if we was to glorify himself, us is to do what? Now we have bigger poo poo. The verse here started with big poo-poo, Allah saying we, and the verse ended with us. And here they cannot say us is glorifying himself again, because remember, this is about having sex with someone, she is from us. So if us mean Allah, that means Allah is going to have sex with himself. And he is calling himself a woman. Do we have any Muhammadan want to say anything? Anyone? So all those false videos saying the language you know, Allah, he say, uh, he, because Arabic have uh, one of two choices. Well, he, he still, he do not need to say he. 
and if it's metaphorical then those verses should not be exist Allah consider worshiping female deity as something from shaitan but he never said worshiping male deity is from the devil do you understand people When the Quran say this, uh, male deity, and the Quran, by the way, speak in many places about you cannot worship male deity, as we showed you, chapter four, verse one seventeen, and then we find it in the same. Chapter 17, verse number 40. Has then your Lord, between two brackets, O pagan of Mecca, preferred for you sons and taken for himself among the angels' daughters? Do you see it? What is Allah complaining about? The gender. Allah Aka Muhammad is anti females and here they are and this is a proof by the way that when the Muslim they say to you that women they were discriminated before Islam that is a big fat lie women they used to be goddess not only Muhammad himself he used to work for Khadija and the story is all over even when Muhammad he decided to buy his son according to the hadith it says in the hadith there, he went to his wife and he asked her for money. He didn't have a penny. From the wife money, look how, how man he is. The husband, what's his job? The husband. So Allah here is complaining about what for you male sons and for me you gave me daughters and then he said this is unfair division and in, indeed in chapter 37 he said or did we create angels female What does that mean? That means angels are male. And if they are not female, shouldn't you say they have no gender? You see, he never made a verse saying angels are not male. Never. But he made a verse saying angels are never female. And this is again a proof that the Arab have no problem to accept an angel to be a female. They are not anti-female gender. Uh, a Muslim here, and we, are, we covered the topic already, and we will see if any Muslim here dare to give us an answer. A Muslim, he said this to me. You see, Muslims, you cannot do mockery with a Christian prince. I'm not anyone, I'm not like, you know, you can, I don't know, I don't want to mention names, but you can do mockery to everybody, not with, not with me. You do it, you bring mockery to your prophet. This guy, he said, Salam, Christian Prince, you are a donkey, very big one. Abdul, what if I show you in the front of everybody that the prophet, your prophet, his last name is Dog, and his wife, her last name is Donkey. Do you accept the challenge? So when you say to me, you are a big donkey, are you saying to me, I am the father of Muhammad wife? Is it Zainab, the wife of Muhammad, her name is Zainab bin Tujahsh? Are 
Are you there? And I find it really amazing that the Muslim, when they try to put someone down, they call him either a donkey or a dog. When their prophet, his last name is dogs, not dog, dogs. I wish it was a dog, which means nobody knows who is the father. Ibn Kilab. And his wife, she is the daughter of Jahsh. Are you there? Look, now he play, he play, he play, he play dead now. That's it. He have no answer. Don't try to do mockery with me. You will bring nothing but mockery to your prophet. I don't tolerate mockery. The bully, you know the bully? The bully Islam religion? You cannot do bully with me. Make a million videos making fun of a Christian prince, whatever, but eh, you are just bullying yourself. People, they see that you are stupid and you don't dare to debate me. And when I say who wanna call me and nobody call, then people laugh. All of them, they wanna debate me face to face. I cannot debate you face to face. I am like Allah. Actually, in fact, the truth is I am Allah himself. Prove me wrong. Look, I will prove to you that I'm Allah in two seconds. I cannot have a son without having a girlfriend or a wife. And this is what Allah, he said. And this is a clear proof that I am Allah. Who wanna prove me wrong? Don't you Muslim, you say, Nothing like Allah. Okay. Well, I am like Allah. So you have to accept now that I am Allah. I cannot have, and I can prove it. I cannot have a son unless I have a girlfriend or a wife. And I challenge you to prove me wrong. And that is telling you that me and Allah, we share the same. What this uh, Uthman, he said, Qatarize, uh, Qatar, 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 sorry, my English is not good. What, what those people are talking about? You just made your God a joke, man. So how can he have a son and he has no wife? Well, this is not something you say about God because God, he can have a son without a wife. He's God, hello. It's like saying to God, how you can have Adam without dust? Well, he can create dust. This is how stupid this religion is. And if Allah is not a male, why he is saying, how can he? And by the way, who is the one is talking there? I mean, Allah is saying, how can he? Why he don't say, how can I? I mean, what's wrong with, I? Okay, who? He, Allah? Who's talking? Allah? Allah is saying, how can he? Or this is the author of the book, he is making a statement about his God, Allah. Isn't it obvious? Bad analogy? No, not bad analogy, because if Allah is nothing like him, Allah, he forget. Allah, he write Quran better than Quran. Okay, I promise you, I will, my coming book will be a better book. Have you ever heard of a God, he promised you to make Quran better than his Quran? Why, he went to school? His Arabic improved? Hmm? If Allah is perfect, well, he cannot be perfect more than Allah. Do you hear me? Was Allah perfect when he wrote the first Quran? The answer, no. Who says so? Allah. This is a chapter 2, verse number 106. Sometimes we Arab, when we say the word six, we say six. Like what? So don't take it as a, you know, like, you know, the same as the guy, Pink Panther, he went to Greenland, how to say hamburger. So, whatever a verse, we do abrogate, do ab we abrogate, or cause to be forgotten. We bring better one or similar. 
So Allah will make you lose your memory, forget the Quran, but don't worry. Or he will make you, he will give you an order to abrogate Quran. Okay, what is the purpose? I will make something better. And what make it more stupid, something similar. I mean, okay, I get the better one. Why you want to make me forget? Let us say I will make a verse now. Bismillah al-Rahman al I eat hummus, ameen. Okay. Now Allah, he abrogated this verse. He will give you something similar. Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim, ameen, hummus, ameen. So we add the word ameen. You will give me something similar, you idiot. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this? So I'm going to go and burn your house and then I will give you a similar house. So why you burn my house? So is Allah is equal to Allah? Do you Muslim have one Allah? Obviously, Allah is not the same Allah. And look carefully. Here he said, whatever we abrogate, and then he says, know that, know you not that Allah. Like what? Here he say we, and then he speak about Allah as, a, as, as other person. Do you notice the stupidity? Let us change the translator. Just for the sake of fun. This is Hilali Khan. Let us go to Yusuf Ali, the dummy. Hmm. Look at this. None of our revelation, and by the way, Muslims, Allah, he did revelation. Where is the word revelation in the verse? Anybody can show me the word revelation? Why, why all translations saying revelation? It says ayah. Ayah is revelation now. We abrogate our cause to be forgotten. We substitute, substitute something better or similar. And then he continues saying, knowest though not that Allah has power of all over. Who is talking? A second ago you said we. Suddenly you say, don't you know that Allah have power over? This is cannot be true. Because if you are the one talking, you should say, don't you know that the one, I am the one have power of all over things? And what does have to do with power, you idiot? It, you are just making a few words. This is power. <coughs> so I make a video, let us say I make a video, and then... Uh, two hours after I make a new video says forget about the first video I will make better one that is power that is really unique power do we have any Muslim would like to call me <clears throat> do we have any Muslim sheikh with long beard I'm going to open my pal talk again for those Muslims who claim that they can all of them, they say one thing. They want to see my face, and I confirm to them. I had to share the, the share the secret, you know. I mean, I, I can't take it no more. Sorry. They keep asking me why you don't show your face, why you don't share your face, and you know, I don't know what to say to them. But it's time, I think. Honestly, it's time to tell them that I am Allah, and because I am Allah, I have to speak from behind the curtain. So let me open my pal talk. If you like to call me from behind the curtain, I am Allah, feel free. And I challenge you to prove to me that I am not Allah. I am way smarter than the one you worship anyway. Way more smarter, prove me wrong. <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> all right, people are sending me hello, CP, and Bell talk. Guys, don't do that to me. Let us see, this guy is online.
This uh, this broadcast was not scheduled, by the way, but the guys were coming, their truck was broken, so we cannot do what we planned to do. We were planning to do hummus. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Somebody sending me a message in Arabic. Okay. Look like this person is a Muslim person in Arabic speaking. Any Muslim would like to call me? I am a Muslim from Paris. Can we talk? Sure. Why not? I mean, who cares? Where are you from? Oh, well, for some reason, I cannot call you, my friend. Maybe you need to change your setting. Let us see. Try you. You try to call me. I tried to call you. The one who said to me is from France, but it didn't work. It says like busy and says you need to update. <clears throat> the Quran says it's not for any human, not fitting for a man that Allah should speak to him except by inspiration or from behind the veil. This verse is about me. Not working. Any Muslim want to prove me wrong? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? No, use, you do not need to use VVN, just use computer, use laptop. Maybe your phone is, software is not right. Any Muslim want to prove me wrong that I am not Allah? I think I should make a video, the title is I am Allah, prove me wrong. I can prove it so easy, by the way. Like, I do mistakes, and Allah do mistakes. I have scientific errors. As an example, I am the one who is behind the theory of the Big Bang. You know? But the Big Bang I made is not about, like, the galaxy and those things, you know? I was talking about a mother-in-law and her daughters, and I was marrying four bunch of wives, and then the prophet, he did one of my prophet. He did that, uh, you know. He uh, he for you know he had sex with the maid, and I told him, uh, you know, and then uh, he told me, and then I told her, and then we told each other, and then uh, the, the secret spread. This was my mistake. I should not tell them because the secret became all over. I should not involve in the gossip business as Allah. Any Muslim? If all, you know, it's very funny that the Muslims are so desperate to see my face, but they are not desperate to see the face of Allah. And then even when Allah, he come in the judgment day, he will show them his shin. It's not even his ass. Call Nu'man Ali Khan. If he is live and he have a pal talk or a Skype, give me, I will call him. And I don't have a problem to call anyone. Don't tell me call this guy and call this guy. Everybody will come. 
But I'm not going to call people in their houses and their private phones for many reasons. First, that will be considered like kind of harassment. And they will make, they will say Christian Prince is harassing us. Okay, I'm live. Send me a message says, I'm wanting to talk to you. I will call you immediately. Invite me to talk to you. I will talk to you. Very simple. And don't make the stupid excuse of face-to-face. Uh, -face. I don't go anywhere. This, this is something, you see, if I go and do face-to-face, -face, you see, all those Christians, they never met me. Like, have ever even I met uh, Sam Shamoon or David Wood? I did not. So it's not Muslims only don't see me, even Christians don't see me. I don't, I don't like to go. I, you know, for me, I am blessed that nobody knows who is this person. I don't want to be glorified. I'm not Allah. I'm just, I'm joking. I'm not Allah. I don't need we. The Lord, he taught us, what you do with the right hand, you shall not let the left hand know. Which means if you are going to go and glorify yourself and get the glorifying of people, people say Christian Prince, okay, who's Christian Prince? One day I will die, and none of you even would know where is my grave. Many of you will be in my funeral. By the way, when my cousin Harun, the brother of Musa, he died, do you know how many Harun was in his funeral? Anyone knows? I will call you, uh, James, aren't you? We are in Pal Talk, Abdul, if you want to call me, Ibn al-Arabi. When Harun, the brother of Musa, according to Muhammad, he died, there was 40,000 people in his funeral. But the problem is not here. I mean, it's possible that somebody have maybe 400,000. Why not? If he's a king or famous person or a prophet. But the problem was 40,000, all of them, their name is Aaron. Like, what the heck? So the guy who died, his name is Aaron. In the funeral, there was only men who their names is Aaron, and there are 40,000. You know, this will remind me of the guy Ibn Battuta. You know Battuta? The, the one who wrote about his travel? Very famous person between the, between the Arab, but he's funny, stupid, fabricator, fiction guy. He said that he went to a country, and all the women there, they have one breast. True, brother. I was there. You know? The whole country, the women there, all the country have one, the women have only one breast. Like, why? So this guy, he write about his traveling, and he put a lot of fictions and lies. And because nobody, you know, at that time, people are naive. Man, he went to a country, brother, all the women there, they have one breast. The other Abdul, he says, Alhamdulillah, women here have two breasts. Like what? Which country is that? Okay, I will tell you a story which is a true story. And this is not Daif. I went to a country and I found women there, they have a three breast. The problem, I have a weak vision and I think I saw the nose. And you know, like, I know it's coming out too. You know, like, like, okay, you know, it was dark, you know, and then like, I, I put my hand, okay, there's, I see there's two breasts, and then uh, my hand is up, and uh, I touch the nose, so they have three breasts. What a crazy religion. Are you a Muslim, my friend? If you are a person who want to talk to me, tell me I'm a Muslim. Don't make me ask you. Tell me I'm a Muslim, I like to talk. I don't call anyone except Muslims. We want to give them a chance to present their view of the religion. And we will come you to speak nicely to us and we will speak kindly to you. So if you are a Muslim, Right now, I am in Pal Talk. You are welcome. 
and I will be happy to hear you. <clears throat> A Muslim asking question about Revelation, Alpha and Omega, which come first? You see, my friend Sonny, I, I understand your situation. You are a Muslim and you are, always come with awkward understanding of everything. Not only religion is awkward in understanding. It's you don't understand our belief. So when the Lord, he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, which means I am the reasoning for all creations to be started. This is why the Bible says, everything was created by him and for him. It's not his beginning. It's not his end. For God have no beginning. God has no end. Alpha and Omega, I am the reason for you to exist. And uh, as long as you ask the same question, uh, is it Allah, he says, the same? And now he will hide. He will say, okay, forget about the question, brother. Are you going to copy my answer now? And you will give me what I gave you? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Is it one of the names of your God? Is al awal wal akhir What's wrong with you, Muslims? Let us go to the silly Quran, who is trying to copy the book of Revelation. Shall we? Chapter 57, verse number 3. Here actually you have a problem because here it says he is the first and he is the last. Explain to me. You know, I can let the first go, but how he can be the last? Because if he is the last, that means there's no resurrection, there's no heaven, and nobody will live with him forever. Correct, people? Are you there? The Abdul who asked me the question. Are you there? Jesus of the Bible is cursed. That is a very false thing. Jesus, he himself, he forgives sin. So how come the one who forgives sin is cursed? That is a stupid if you yes mean to say. But no wonder your prophet, he says, Naqisatu Aqlin Wadeen. Half a brain, half religion. Let us see. Who went astray? Let us debate. Okay. You are using uh, false software, my friend. Use laptop. Use laptop so I can call you. Or you try to call me, I don't know. I just try. The one who called himself. Uh, no man Ali Khan. I mean, you don't even have decency, and you use somebody else's name. Why you do that? So now, okay, uh, our people will say No man Ali Khan is uh, uh, trying according to Christian prince, and then I speak to you, and then people will say to me, but this is not No man Ali Khan. Why is your decency? Why you are using the name of somebody else? And look at you, you are using a storing software. This is why it's not functioning. It says, no man Ali Khan using an older version of Paltok. But this is not, I don't think this is the problem. I think you are using a stolen window, maybe. Software. All of them, they are heroes. Let us call him again. Still. Potato. And the funny, he said to me, come on, I'm a Muslim. Oh, he's 17 years old and get lost. 
So what I will tell the Muslims? I made a shish kebab at 17 years old. Give me your daddy. Uh, I challenge you to call me in Skype. My friend, I don't, I'm not using Skype no more. Don't make a challenge and be a stupid thing. You see, look how dummy they are. We are, we are saying to them, this is how we can receive calls. I challenge you in Skype. So now if I go to Skype, he says, I challenge you in Palto. <laughs> Both of them are free, Abdul. If you are a man, here we go. Give it a try. Uh, I must tell him his name is Yikis. Asking me what's wrong. What's wrong with worshipping? What's wrong with Islam? Let us see his question. By the way, you tell me what's wrong with Islam? Is a praying to uh, pray, uh, praying one God the unseen wrong? My friend, first of all, the one God thing is a very serious uh, thing because who care about if he's one or ten or twenty? If he is real or not? Let us say there's somebody, uh, some nation they worship a billion God, and they are true God. So that doesn't make any difference. Secondly, the unseen. Okay, well, okay, I got you, I got you. He's unseen. And shouldn't the unseen prove that what we are worshipping is true? As an example, when the unseen says that the sun set in the murky water, okay, Allah is unseen, but don't Allah knew that this is stupid? He is unseen, but we can see the sun, and we know where the sun set. So, is it an excuse now to worship the God who says to us that the sun set in murky water? In a spring, not even an ocean. And then we find the prophet, he agree, and he says, yes, it's set in murky water. Did your prophet agree? Because some liars from the Muslim, not you, I don't mean to insult you, but if you go and you see those on YouTube, etc., or they're trying to defend Islam, they say to you, oh no, the guy is under the great, he thought it is the sun, said, this is not Allah, this is from the sight of a human being, my friend, read the Quran carefully, it's Allah reporting what he found, and this is your prophet, being asked the same question. I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He's, he asked, do you know where is this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. How this can be from the unseen God? Any Muslim? And if you want to say to me, this is the if hadith, we will laugh at you. Here we go. And this is the same sheikh, this guy, Uthman, he claimed to be a sheikh. He like him. He says he's a scholar. It says Sahih al Isnad. Nothing wrong with it. Have you ever heard of a God? He says such a stupid thing. Why you keep jumping, Yekis? Why you keep jumping like a monkey, my friend? So you, now what we showed you is not enough. How the Quran never changed for 14 years? Who said so? Okay, quote for me, recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult. Recite it, go ahead. Aisha, she said, and this is Aisha, the Christian prince, that the chapter of Al-Baqarah used to be equal to the chapter of the cow. The Quran you have today, the one is more publishing, by the way, because you have many Quran. When they say to you, you have one Quran, this is a lie. But the most famous one is the one printed by the Saudi because of their oil, for they give it for free. 
the Quran in Morocco is different, in Tunisia is different, in Samarkand is different, but the most popular one is the Saudi one. Even this one is not the Quran of Allah. Why? Ask yourself, what is the first verse Muhammad supposed to receive from Allah? You will say, Iqra. Iqra. Where it is now? It's in the end of the Quran. Well, Allah, he gave it to you first. Who put it there? So when they say to you, never change, this is a joke. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Hey, my friend, Yiki, you're, you're just a joker. If you want to ask me a question, then ask me in the chat in uh, YouTube. I just, just blocked you. I'm not going to keep answering you here. If you have a question, post on YouTube. I will ask you there. So you said none never changed. The Quran changed. There's millions of verses. Actually, according to Umar al Khattab, how many verses was the Quran? They count them in the time of Umar al Khattab. A thousand, thousand, a thousand, thousand, and twenty-four. Some, some, some they say twenty-four. Some they say twenty-five thousand verse. A verse. Hold on. Uh, I forgot the hate. This is an old. I, I, I didn't use it for a long time. Let me find the hate. Hold on. <clears throat> Maybe a thousand, thousand, or, or, or sorry, a thousand, thousand letter, not not verse. Sorry, a thousand, thousand letter. And what? Go right now. <clears throat> Let us show you. A thousand, thousand letter, and uh, a thousand, thousand, and twenty-seven thousand letter. The title is. How many letters? This is more than a million, a million and 27,000. If you go right now and look in Google how many letters left, you will find that more than 85% of the Quran is gone. So when they say to you the Quran never changed, it's a joke. And here we go. Let me show you the Hadith. This is your Islamic website, Faisal and Noor. Brother, hmm? Al Quran, Elf, Elf, Wasabon, Washroon, Elf, Harf. And for sure, they will say to you as Daif. Look, Daif. What about this one? Is this one Daif? No, it's good. A goat ate the Quran. So this joke about uh, the Quran preserved, the Quran, etc. This is a joke, and even the Quran today are not the same Quran. And if the Quran is preserved or not, by the way, that will not change anything. Can Satan preserve his words? For he cannot. Satan is powerful, and he never die. He's alive. And by the way, the Muslim when they say. That uh, how God uh, die? It will Satan never die? Does that mean he's God? Very stupid argument. The question is, how the Messiah he dies till he come back? That is God, which means no death can take him, no grave can hold him. He showed us not only he can resurrect others from death, he can. Okay, you can go, can shoot me, kill me. Nobody can kill me. I over death, overcome death by death. Your God is not alive. Prove to me that Allah is alive. Who is a Muslim can't prove to me that Allah is even exist? <clears throat> okay, we have a Muslim. But sadly... It's not working too. I don't know what to do.
this is a Muslim saying the Muslim saying to you that uh, seeing your face this is a pathetic it is just a pathetic excuse for liars here we go a decent Muslim speaking out the Muslim statement we want to see your face to debate you in order to debate you this person is a Muslim I ask are you a Muslim he said yes of course I do not need to see your face seeing your face is just a pathetic excuse for liars I love the truth and I am seeking it since a few years. Wonderful. Yeah, why this person he need to see my face anyway? What what uh, are we getting married? Are we are we dating or engaged? You know? Why they are obsessed with it? This is an excuse. If you can make a victory by making a call and getting me busted life on air. And then nobody will listen to me no more. You solve the problem. The funny they say to you that Christian Prince, he muted you. I never muted a sheikh. Go sheikh. Never. It is the Muslim who do that. Mimi Hijab, he said, he, he, he claimed that he can debate me. I am the one who called him. He hang up on me more than seven, eight times in less than five minutes. And he did not let me talk. He played a video. Did you say that? You have 30 seconds to answer. And when I say something you don't like, he hang up on me. I suppose it's going to be a debate, but there was no debate because they are very much intimidated. They have a bunch of guys you know, around just to talk to me. How come you don't relax? Relax, take it easy. Uh, Ibn al-Arabi, get out of here. We told you, you want to talk? Call me in pal talk. Otherwise, get out. We don't need kids here. You are a hero, my friend. Everybody is uh, scared of you. All of them, they are brave. But nobody want to call me. Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? There is one reason they don't dare to speak to me. They knew that victory and not in their side. Otherwise, trust me, if they knew they can do it, they would be lining up to call. With me, they cannot say, you don't know Arabic. With me, they knew that the question they ask is going to be used against them. And they knew that the answer would be beyond their ability to handle. Prove me wrong. Who wanna prove me wrong? Anyone? If I am a person who have blue eyes, you know, blonde, European guy, who know nothing about Islam and I open you know a channel to talk about Islam they will be lining up you know, especially if he is not really educated look at me I sometimes I feel like a homeless begging for one like who wanna call me after I log off and I go you will see the comments show me your face I challenge you I challenge you Christian Prince I will go meet you anywhere okay I want to debate you in Pakistan who is a Muslim can prepare for me a place in Pakistan to debate? How you can call me coward? You are just 17 years old, you idiot. Go change your diaper. 
let your dad talk to me. We don't talk to kids. I have to register my account again. Yeah, I don't know. Well, my friend, I don't believe in destiny. This is another stupid thing you know, in Islam. You need to change your mind about destiny. You see, destiny, I can like accept the word. Generally speaking, like, okay, well, it's a happen, something happened. Like you are walking under a tree and a branch fall on you. Uh, we can say it's a, but the fact is not a reader, destiny. Uh, destiny in Islam is that Allah, he wrote for you what you will do before he created you. He decide what to do. Actually, there's a book by Al-Bukhari. It's called Khalq Al-Af'al, the creation of a human act. Can you believe it? They write books saying the creation of the human act. Allah created all the acts. So, okay, somebody is doing, excuse my language, masturbation. Allah, he created the act. He made him do it. Like somebody is doing poo, poo at 12 o'clock. Allah, he made him do it. I mean, this, this is how stupid this religion is. And if Allah is the one who created all our acts, then why we are going to be punished for it? You know what I mean? What is the logic of this stupid religion? So Allah, he decided for me. To create all my acts. And then I will be punished for the act he created for me. Who is the donkey here? And this book was created, or let's say written, or made by al-Bukhari to refute an Islamic sect which is considered not Islamic. This is how silly this religion is, if we can call it a religion anyway. <clears throat> Thank you, my friend from, from Paris. You know, actually, if I go and show my face and go in, I will, I will get way more subscribers, way more. And it's going to be even harder for many platforms to delete my videos because sometimes they complain, they say real identity, you know, uh, verify, you know, etc. And then uh, I will receive way more donation and support and I will receive more fame and people will become a celebrity. But I don't want any of that, you know, I'm a, I'm a person who want to wear a sandal, go and eat a sandwich in the middle of nowhere. I don't want people to take a picture with me. I don't want people to take, to speak about me. I don't care for those things. Now, if one day, I mean, let us say I became known, but not because of my intention, and then people, they start saying whatever they want to say about me. Okay, I did not seek for it. It happened, you know what I mean? But those who they are trying to make themselves look like a hero, so they can be glorified by people. I'm not one, otherwise I don't care. Like I see some Christians saying, oh, Christian prince have a family in the East. Who told you that? I, I fear nobody. Trust me, if I have a fear, I will not be here for a second. The one who have a fear, he will not even talk about it. Like you think you are the only one who heard my voice? There's no people in this world know my voice. In a second, you will recognize my voice. My voice is very unique. If I go anywhere, I, I just I say hello, you, you will know me. Actually, it happened once to me in the Philippines. Uh, I was in a coffee shop, and there's a guy, he have a Bible, and he have like little notebook, uh, notebook, he's writing things. So I said to myself, let me have a conversation with this Christian brother. So I said, what uh, are you studying, you know? So he started showing me, and then I'm talking to him, and he said, I think I know you. I said, no. He said, no, I know you. I think I know you. And the guy, he started squeezing his head. 
you know. And then he said to me, are you a Christian prince? <laughs> oh boy. And then, I mean, what I will say, I will, I, I will say no. Are you a Christian prince? I said, maybe. He's, what? Yes, it's you. And then right away he grabbed his phone and he called his wife and he said to her, guess who is with me? And you will believe it or not. His wife, she said, she said to him, what, you are calling me now? What, what are you calling for me? Like I said, why are you excited? He said, guess who is with me? I said, what's wrong with you? Who is with you? Christian Prince? I could not believe it that she said that to him. And then I said, to her, she said uh, see, I watch your video every day. My wife, she keeps saying to me, stop playing his video. I have headache. <laughs> And he said to her, yes. She said, you are going crazy. Stop watching his videos. What do you mean he's with you? He said, honest to God, he is with me here. Uh, you want to talk to him? Say, 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 say something, say something. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then I said, hello. She said, who is this? I said, Christian Prince. You should see the moment of silence. I think his, her head is spinning, maybe her husband playing a video or something, you know. <laughs> I did in the Philippines tons of open field speeches, thousands of people were there in many countries. In USA, I go in public, but I don't like to be known as a person to be glorified nobody still even those people do not know me they see me yes but i'm a person who go and disappear and that's it but i'm not afraid of anyone but i'm not seeking glorifying from people i'm a servant i want to be no one except a servant of the lord and maybe all of you better than me why not you know if anyone says to you he's good he's lying nobody is good only God. So, if what makes me good is what I'm doing, that will never make me good because you will never be good anyway. The, the best you do in your best time, you are not even equal to a filthy rag in the front of His Holiness. So, people who like to glorify themselves and they ask why he don't want, I don't want, you know, he will go, what's wrong? What's, what's your business? I don't like it. I don't want it. I'm not seeking it. Even my books, I don't put my names. I will die. People will, you know, a Christian prince or a true Christian prince. So, people who they glorify themselves, they want to worship themselves, they seek we, the word we, in a we. This is why you see somebody making a video or he claims to be Christian or he's a Muslim, supposedly. And then you copy his video, he flag you for copying his video. Why? Because he's fake. Because he wants subscribers to his own. I don't want subscribers to me. Take them all. I don't keep my videos. I keep begging people to. Now I was upset today that not many people they are downloading my videos. So uh, it's not about me. It's about the truth. And this is all is an excuse to avoid debating me because people they want answers and not a face you know we see you we don't see you who, who care you know there's a there's a guy actually and uh Anton, he mentioned his name he called himself yeah 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 no it's no you know uh his account i forgot his the name of his video channel and this guy i talked to him you want to debate me he, he never even dared to use his voice uh, but maybe he don't want to be heard by voice he keep posting videos against me. But he don't want to talk. And how come the Muslim don't say to him or Christian don't say, show your face? The guy he don't want. Uh, I'm here just to share my knowledge. The one who like it, like it. The one who don't like it, don't like it. Who cares? And if you are willing to debate me, 
You are welcome. But don't make yourself look like a hero. I want to debate him, but the coward is not showing his face. That would be true if I ever go and debate somebody, as you say, face to face. I don't. Why am I do that? I'm right now drinking my coffee, sitting wearing my short. By the way, it's halal short. And bringing hell to Allah. And that is what is bothering you. That is the truth. So for how long now we are waiting for a Muslim to call us? <clears throat> Anyone? And if you don't call me and you claim that you are a person who can refute me, it's your lose. Because the more you wait to recall me and show that I'm not telling the truth, the more people supposedly will leave Islam. So what are you waiting for? Your excuse is not even good for your religion. Actually, this will remind me of what Muhammad did when the Christians, they came to debate him. What Muhammad he did? He cannot answer them. He said, let us do cursing party. Have you ever heard of such a debate? In chapter 3, verse number 61, Allah told Muhammad, who cannot answer anything, Muhammad, he gave them Quran, he cannot even explain his Quran. Whoever dispute with you concerning him, between two brackets, Isa, after all things of knowledge, what all things of knowledge? You said nothing. That has come to you, what come to him? What come to him? Being a slave of Allah, and having no share in divinity between two brackets. This is not the Quran. The Quran doesn't say that. See, this is between two brackets. It's a fabri fabrication. Okay. And, oh, Muhammad, tell them, oh, Muhammad, come, come. Let us call our sons and your sons, our women and your women, and ourselves and yourself, and we pray and invoke the curse of Allah. Look at this stupid cursing party. First of all, those are bishops, your donkey. So they don't have sons and they don't have wives. They are monks. So the stupid God who said to you, come, bring your children, I bring my children, bring my wife, what, what the wife and the children have to do with the debate? I'm so glad that the Muslims are not putting more conditions on me saying you have to have a wife and children before you can debate you. Then I have to get married and get some kids and then when they can walk and change their diaper and we can take them and we take the wives and then we can have a, a cursing party and now your microphone may Allah curse me if I'm lying your turn may Allah cut my nose if I'm lying your turn so suppose that you keep doing this as one, until one of you get tired and the one who get tired first is the loser can you believe it can you believe how stupid this garbage religion cursing party are you saying to me that Allah will not punish me unless I ask him to do so hey Allah how many times I said to Allah 20 years ago Allah if you are a God uh, you know uh, do something do something here go. I cut my internet now cut my nose I don't want to mention something else that is dangerous. Stupid religion. When Al Qurmuti he come to Al Kaaba or the Kaaba, and he destroyed it, and he took the black stone, and he was screaming in the Kaaba, saying, "Hey Allah, where is your birds?" Because the Quran there's a chapter it's called the chapter of the elephant. Yeah, the Quran is like a zoo. So he destroyed the Kaaba. And he was screaming, saying, because this is a stupid lie, it's a fiction story. 
that there's a Christian army came from Ethiopia to destroy the Kaaba and build a church. And they came with army of elephant. I can't even believe that there is an army of elephant can go through the desert without water. There's no rivers there. An elephant would die a few in a few hours. Elephant, even in Africa, they have either to go and uh, spray water in themselves during the time or to jump in the water or to stay in the shade. An elephant staying in the sun for a few hours is, is this is death for him because he don't sweat. Not only he need water, he don't sweat. He don't have a sweating system, air conditioning system. We as human, when we sweat, this is air conditioning to cool down our body. And the funny about this story, by the way, that the God of Islam, he sent an army, sorry, send an, yeah, an army of birds, F-16, and they throw rocks at the Christian army. When? At the time when the one who was worshiping there is the pagan Arab, the one who have 365 idols, because this is before Islam, supposedly. And Allah didn't send an army of birds to protect the Kaaba when only Muslim was there. Well, Qurmati, he came and destroyed, actually, the, the Kaaba destroyed many times, not only by Qurmati, but the Qurmati was the most aggressive challenge to Allah because this guy, he made it clear, Allah is false. Hey, Allah, where is your birds? And not only that, he took the black stone, he made it as a poopoo -poo stone for more than 20, 21 years. And then when he gave it back to the Muslims, they have to pay him for, for it. Can you believe it? Allah could not get it back. They had to pay the guy. And what he gave them back? He gave them a few pieces. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, many don't, many think that the, uh, the, the Muslim, they have a black stone. They don't have a black stone. They have little tiny rocks in the stone, in the in the wax. Let us show you. And this is another proof that Islam is a lie. If the black stone sent by Allah and the black stone will witness for us in the judgment day, well, there's nothing left of it. This is why they have a very tough security around the black stone because most of them they will steal. There's right now in, in, in Turkey, you can go and search it. There's little rocks from the black stone in Turkey. Okay, hold on. How Allah allowed the Turkish, the Ottoman, to steal rocks from the black stone? And you can imagine how many Muslims are stealing rocks. And now there's nothing left. This is what they have left. Little, little, tiny, tiny, hard to see ones. And the rest is wax, brown wax around it. There's no stones. And they do maintenance to it every few weeks. Have you ever heard of a stone of God need maintenance? Look, look at this ugly stone. This is a close, a close image. Look at this. Look at this disgusting. Yuck. Do you see the stones? Do you see how small they are? Let me, let me show you. I don't know if you can see it. This is where they are kissing and licking. This is one. Let us make it with different color. Hold on. This is one, this is one, this is one, this is one, and here, one, two, three, six, I think that's it, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe that's it. That's, where is the black stone? We don't have black stone. Does God, he could not preserve his stone? The right hand of Allah, the right hand of, they stole the right hand of Allah. 
No, this is not rusty. This is the, the, the brown thing around. This is this is wax, wax. You can go right now, search in YouTube, uh, Blackstone Maintenance. They're not even ashamed of it. They, they, they record it. The Holy Stone of Allah, which is going to witness for you in the judgment day, it's not there. So what they do, they do maintenance for what is left over from little tiny rocks. What kind of, this is a very pure pagan religion, stupid cult. You remember once we chatted with the Muslim website, why you kiss the black, why, why, why? I said to them, why the prophet kissed the black stone? They said, because it's holy. I said, why it's holy? He said, because the prophet kissed it. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at this, you put your head inside it. And not only that, the black stone in the shape of a vagina because it's how it is. It used to be a vagina. And this is, look, this guy is a crying. Brother, he is a crying. This is Mufti Mink. He's crying in front of the stone, brother. <laughs> when I see your stone, it remind me. It could remind you of what? Why you are crying? Hypocrite liar. What, you saw Allah? You see, those are the ones who want to glorify themselves. I mean, a person who is praying and worshiping God, why you need to take pictures of you? So he took people with him and you crying in front of so people were seeing like he's a good guy. Right? You will never hear me. I don't remember saying I will go to pray. But all of us we pray. But why want to brag about it? I mean, if you are praying, are you doing a favor to somebody? Are you doing like something, suppose this is a good deed, make you a good person? You pray actually because you are a sinner, not because you are good. We pray not because you are good, but because we did bad. Uh, any Muslim? In the top of that, let us make it this final thing. In the top of that, if you ask the Muslims, who is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba? They say to you, brother, did you see the golden ratio, brother? The golden ratio about the Kaaba? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Golden ratio, location of the Kaaba. Yes, brother, it's the center of the earth. You eat it. It's, it's the earth is flat. Those lines is drawn by the man. I can make you golden ratio of unlimited numbers of cities and towns in the earth. But look at this. Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba. Actually, just last week, they have a flood. The city of Kaaba is, of Mecca, is flooded in a crazy way. And now the, the, the water is not coming to the Kaaba because they spend hundreds of millions of dollars to direct the, the, the rain. Before that, the rain, every time they have a water or some rain, the Kaaba, look at this guy, he is, is swimming. Look at this guy, look, look at this. So Allah, he chose the location of the Kaaba. And he chose this location. I remember when the flood of water from rain come, and this is the lowest part of, of Mecca, all the poo-poo, the dirt of animals, the garbage, you know, there, there, they don't have sewage. In the city, they don't have sewage, they have septic tanks. Septic tanks, but it's very basic, which is a hole in the ground, they cover it with some leaves, and now maybe they are using concrete. But when it gets full, all the poop and the poo-poo go up. You walk in the street, instead of smelling the nice smell of like God, you know, he provide you with the nature, you smell the poopoo of your neighbor. So if one neighbor, he did not suck the septic tank on time, it's going to flood all over the place. So this Kaaba now is swimming with what? With poopoo. And this is the proof that Allah is God. 
couldn't Allah choose better location? Couldn't Allah even order the Kaaba ground to go up a few meters and that will make it protected from that will be a miracle. You do not need the engineers of America to fix it for you. Look, this is after they build the marble. Look, those guys are walking to go to the Kaaba and look, they are walking in the water. It's like you're walking in a, in a tunnel in a sewage. I mean, what more proof we can provide that this is a pagan, stupid cult? The Kaaba was covered by poop. I will leave that for the Muslims to answer. I want to say thank you guys for being here. Feel free to download the video. Don't uh, hesitate. And don't forget, please, to download the previous video. All right? And share them with your friends. Please help us. Not help me. Help us which means help yourself, help your family, help your society, so they can understand how to refute this garbage cult. They are working hard, trying to deceive your children in schools, and they have a lot of money. All Western universities are welcoming donations from the major donators, the Prince of Qatar, the Prince of Emirat, the Prince of Saudi Arabia. They, are, they, are, they worship money, and they open Islamic centers in return for them. And the purpose of those centers is to convert as many as they can. They give you free scholarship. They give you free housing. They give you just come. They spend, you see, we as a Christians, nobody sponsor us. Which means nobody sponsor really Christianity, save God. Then, all Islamic countries, not even one country, don't have a budget. To promote Islam. They have a ministry of Islam in all those Islamic countries. They have a minister for it. They have a huge team of employees. Mosques are built by the money of the government, not by the money of people. And money is coming like rain. All of this will be demolished as soon as this money goes. The same as it was a hundred years ago. Islam was dying. Then the oil came and Islam became a more flourish with the oil money. And the European, they start welcoming, you know, investment of uh, the Prince of Qatar, he owned half of England. They own every single stadium and every single almost uh, uh, sport team. There's no sport team anymore. They are owned by the Saudi, by the Qatari, by the Emirati. This is why we are asking you to help us, for we have very little help. If you compare how big what they have as money, as power, and how big what we have we, we have nothing to compare. Every single one of those, he is sponsored by a huge organization. Conferences, salaries, free hotels, promote them, they pay for advertising, they put a billboard for them. Who is doing that? We have a hard time even to convince a church to use to invite me. Because sadly, many Christian, they call themselves Christians, they are fake. They want to just do business. They don't want trouble. Islam is a trouble. So help those who help. I'm not talking about donation, by the way, here now. That's why I was talking about how come, why, you guys don't download their videos, support them, post something, show support, emotional support. I mean, do your part. Those who stand fighting for the truth, stand with them. Don't make them feel to be alone. For me, I don't care really. I feel, I feel alone even better for me. But there are some people, they are not strong enough. They need your support. I'm not talking about supporting me, by the way, now. I'm talking about supporting them. Notice like Anthony Roger, David Wood, Sam Shamoon, uh, what's his name, Rob, 
he make videos too so support those who need support forget about me I don't want you. don't support me but do something be part I'm always confident I believe that I have a power of an army by myself for a very simple reason the Lord is with me so I'm not seeking really support but I'm seeking you support to yourself so when you post a video when you take a video of me or somebody and you show it to your children your cousins your friends nobody will be able to deceive them again it's like giving a vaccine against a virus so we are giving you a free vaccine and now we are begging you to use it but you don't want to use it why because you are lazy so support them don't support me all right the Lord is always he proved himself to me and the Lord always give me victory over those who fight me I never lost and I will never do for if the Lord is with me who could be against me and this is not about being alive or dead remember even the disciple of Jesus they've been killed too the Lord himself being crucified the victory of myself is the same victory of our church fathers they are willing to die for the truth and the truth will set them free death will not take them and grave will not hold them and victory is always with them for whoever believe in me and die will live so if you are truly a believer do what a believer do we are sinners but we fight our sin but what about being believers not only we fight our sin we do good and the good we do spoke about in the Bible from their fruits you shall know them so time will come and the Lord he will say to you how many people you saved what you will say I went to the church you saved yourself are you coming along Christianity is like let us say there's an island and it's required for you to join this island of safety and security to bring somebody with you to save somebody this is the truth and nobody want to listen to it it's not about saving yourself because that is selfish it's about saving others before yourself that make you Christian not saving yourself make you Christian for God he loved the world he sent his only begotten son he did not want to save himself that is not a hero act the hero is the one who save others before he think about himself so I want to say thank you may the Lord bless you all and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and Islam is dummy made by a dummy I remember our topic today was is Allah male or female so if the videos became too long those who download my videos and I appreciate them cut it pieces you know cut the part which have nothing to do with the topic I repost it again and don't forget please to subscribe to those who they uh, download the videos and they do add subtitle and if you want to copy their videos ask for permission and if you don't don't forget to put a link of their video and the real video and says this is taken from there because they themselves they did some work for me I don't care you know but for them okay we did the work so what about you give us credit even though we as a Christians we should not really care for this because we should care for who received the truth not who delivered it right the important is the message not the messenger <clears throat> the messenger the messenger is not the issue it is the message and the message only when the messenger he worship himself he is not a messenger no more is God he think is God so don't be a messenger who think he is God be a messenger who want to serve 
how to download this video there's many options you can search in google profit google piece of be upon him uh, will show you many options depend in the browser you use or wherever there's programs you can download videos thank you all may the lord bless you and until we see you soon again christ is lord i mean to that take care